Hey folks, Logan here with Duncan's Boats and today we're going to take a look at the Trophy 22cc. Uh, this boat, uh, since the Trophy brand came back out a few years ago, um, has been a great boat for us, that 22 foot. And uh, it's good both a uh, hardcore fishing boat, uh, but also a hardcore family friendly boat too as well. Seats a ton of people and a good profile, good boat, a lot of good options uh, at a very reasonable price. Uh, right off the bat here, we're going to talk about the trailer a little bit. Uh, this does come uh, from factory with a galvanized trailer and uh, standard is a swing tongue too as well. Uh, that way we get a little bit more storage and stuff when we swing that away. Uh, now taking a look at the profile. Uh, big, big side walls here as well. And, uh, but still has a nice big sharp V down here. It get it gets to an 18 degree dead rise, just a good dead rise to cut through the water and uh, keep everybody in the boat dry and, and a good ride. Uh, this particular uh, model we brought in with the uh, exterior lighting package, that being uh, docking lights here, and we'll see at the uh, stern transom lights too. Um, in addition, we did bring in the stainless steel package, which does make a rub rail stainless steel um, all of our fittings and stuff, our cup holders inside, all become stainless steel when you inclu include that stainless steel package. I'm taking a look at the power plant back here. Uh, this has the upgraded Mercury V6 and uh, just great strong engine uh, for this boat. Uh, powerful yet, yet really, really quiet. Again, it is a V6 200. Uh, down here we will notice our uh, underwater lights too as well. Uh, the other thing to take a look here at the transom, big swim platforms, probably almost uh, almost two and a half feet long here on either side, uh, whether you're pulling in fish up here uh, or just getting people on and off for boarding, um, big wide swim platforms uh, to make that real nice and easy. Of course, we got a four, four step ladder right here too as well that does deploy. Being both a fishing boat and a family friendly boat, uh, easily removable ski pylon back here. Makes for a lot of fun with the kids and stuff out on the water, uh, yet you can remove it, take it out when you go to out and do some hardcore fishing. Uh, the other thing too that you're really going to like, uh, an option we bring in on a lot of our uh, boats, even our center consoles here, is a fresh water shower. Uh, and that'll be nice uh, whether you're done for the day out there and want to get that salt water or you're uh, coming off the beach just to stop from getting all that sand in the boat. So focusing now a little bit more on the fishing side. Uh, rod holders everywhere in this boat. Here, here, rod holders on our T-top. Uh, rod storage here on either side too as well. And then we combine that uh, the 22cc model does actually come standard here with two aft live wells. Okay, uh, that's a, a real nice feature. Taking a look, uh, what's really cool here is with this particular layout is we got big nice casting platforms here with the seats down, but now we can actually flip the seats up when we have a full load. And uh, one of the cool things, this is a really high backrest. Comes up um, even past my shoulder blades right here, but I'm still sitting down inside the boat. So feel nice, comfortable, and safe. So now we're gonna step forward and take a look at the helm and talk a little bit more about that. Uh, typically on these 22s, you will see it with the uh, T-top option. Uh, though can be ordered with just a regular bimini top too as well. A nice clean looking helm, especially when we do the Mercury Vessel View. This is actually the 7 inch screen. Um, it is a Simrad based uh, uh, base screen setup. And that's going to have our engine data, of course uh, GPS, fish finding capabilities, and our depth too. Uh, real comfortable helm here. Even if I'm standing, I can adjust the steering wheel too as well. Here we got our Bluetooth enabled stereo. 
most of the time people are just going to hook that straight up to their phone and uh, let whoever's playing the music play the music all day long. Uh, stepping forward here, let's actually take a look inside the center console. Uh, one of the great jobs they did with designing this boat is a ton of room down here. Now, I'm just under six feet, but uh, getting on down here, I easily have quite a bit of room down here. Uh, so if you want to put a head down here, even a nice little changing area, especially for the kids or something like that, or just massive, massive storage. Uh, walking forward, now we're focusing back again on a lot of those uh, family creature comforts. You'll see how when they designed this boat, they brought the beam as forward as much as possible before coming to a point. What that does is get us huge, huge seating up here uh, for the family and friends. Uh, again, I can easily stretch out and can fit a few more people, not to mention this seat right here. Uh, large storage too as well underneath all these seats. Take a peek at this one here. These seats right here. They are held up by a gas assist strut, so we don't have to worry about it falling down on our hands. And they, they do all drain down and out the boat, too, as well. Uh, so they could be used as a few hour day cooler if you wanted to, as well. Uh, this middle latch, typically for us, is where we're going to put your anchor, anchor there. Uh, again, big, massive storage. Just wrapping up, uh, this is the Trophy 22cc. Uh, great size uh, boat that actually seats up to 10 people uh, can both fish and be family friendly and even a little skiing and tubing while you're out there and, and the, the price on it comes in real great very economical boat too as well you can't go wrong uh, that's speaking from a person who has a 22 year old trophy boat myself uh, Logan here with Duncan's boats thanks for watching and have fun out there in the water